There are times your teacher will assign you a PDF document that they want you to annotate, which means write on, write on to the PDF file. So when you get that, they might use a program called Kami in order to give that to you. So when you open the assignment, you might see a window like this with Kami where you need to log in with Google to get to the assignment. You might also see it where they're having it load in a new window, so you'll see that you need to click on this button to load the assignment in a new window. I've already logged into Kami once, so it's not going to ask me to log in again with my Google account. It's going to bring me right to the assignment. Once you're in the PDF file, you'll see that Kami is opened up and you have all these tools on the side that you can use. So let's look at a couple of those. First, let's look at markup. This is a way to highlight text. You can choose your different colors down here. So let's just choose yellow. Then we'll come up here and you left click and highlight any text that you want to highlight. And you'll see that it just highlights it. If you want to draw um, shapes, you can come down here to shapes, choose whatever shapes you want, left click and drag to make the size that you want. You can also choose different colors. Right underneath you see the eraser. We can left click and erase anything that we have put on here just by left clicking on it. Let's look at the text box. Click on text box. You'll see now your cursor changes to the little I. Left click and that'll put your text box wherever you want it to go. If you want to change the size of the font, you'd come right here and you can just change the font size right there. To move the box around, as you hover over it, you'll see the four arrows. Just left click, drag it to your new location. You also can select the text and change the color of it as well. So let's go ahead and look at the drawing tool. You'll notice here at the top that you have different sizes of strokes that you can choose. That determines how thick the pin is. The transparency starts up at the top here. So let me show you what happens when I go to actually color in this um, graphic here. First things is I want to zoom in. If you have a touch screen, you can use your fingers by pinching them together and apart to zoom in or out. Otherwise, you can come up here to the zoom and click on the plus to zoom in and out. This will make it easier when you have drawing to do. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to put in my color in my 6 out of 11. Notice I can't see the lines now, so it's a little bit harder. So I'm going to come over here to this transparency and I'm going to lower the transparency. I'm going to use the eraser to erase these so I can start over again and now go back to the drawing tool. And now when I actually color these in, I can see the lines, which makes it a little bit easier for me to see exactly where my 6 out of 11 is. Another thing you can do with Kami is to sign something or draw right on it. So let's go back to the drawing tool. I want to make the width of my pen a little bit smaller since I'm going to be drawing a signature. If you have a touch screen, you can actually just come up and you can just write on your touch screen. You can sign it with your finger. If you don't have a touch screen, it is a little bit harder. If you have a mouse, you can left click while you move your mouse and draw. You can see it is a little bit funnier looking than my original signature. If you don't have a mouse, a trick you can do with your trackpad is it requires you to use both hands. So you're going to, with one hand, left click and hold down your finger on the trackpad so that the left click button is staying. Then with your other hand, you're actually going to just go ahead and draw your signature right on the trackpad. So you can see it's not as good. It'll take a little bit of practice. You can grab that eraser, erase that whole thing, come back to your drawing, and let's try it one more time. So again, with one hand, hold down your trackpad so that the left click is pushed. Then with your other hand, use one of your fingers and draw your signature. So as you can see, it's not as great but I can still somewhat recognize my um, signature on there. So there is a way that you can just um, handwrite on your annotations as well using that drawing pin. Try it out and you will get better with practice. So once you are done and you have written and completed the PDF file, now it is time to submit it. In the upper left hand corner, you'll see where it says submit. So you're going to left click on this. You'll notice here that it does say 11 unsaved changes. So I want to make sure that I always click save now just to make sure I'm giving my teacher the newest file. Once I have done that and I know for sure all changes have been saved, I can now click on submit. 
Notice the assignment it tells me here where it's going to go. It's going to go into my assignments folder in my Google Drive for this teacher's class. Saving may take a few minutes depending upon how many annotations that you made on top of your file. Once it is finished, you will see that the button changes to unsubmit. You would need to unsubmit this if you did want to make any additional changes to it um, after your teacher maybe grades it the first time or if you realized you turned it in too soon and you need to add some additional information to it. So once you're done, you can click done. You can close this window. That'll bring you back to your Canvas class and you can go ahead and click back on the home page to continue working on other items. If you needed to work on that assignment again, you would come to assignments, find it in the list, left click on it, go ahead and open it again in a new window. You would need to come up to that submit button that says done now. Click on done, click unsubmit. So now you're unsubmitting it. You can make any additional changes that you need to make to this. Do your next part of your assignment. And when you're done, click submit again so your teacher knows that you're ready to regrade it.